and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So we recently had our UK South Fountain Pen Club meetup in February 2020. And as you can see here, there were quite a lot of people that attended. And it was actually a very busy day. We had a number of new members that turned up and it was great to actually see them at the club for the first time. So one of the new members, John, brought a lovely ASC Pens Medio or Armando Simone Club Medio and this is in the Arco Brown version and you can see here it's very similar to that of an Omas Milord and also really a little bit similar to the ASC Bologna Extra but not quite as large and this is a piston filling pen but this is actually quite a lovely pen in terms of the Arco Brown and you can see the nib here and it is an 18 karat gold ASC nib and this is a Bock nib. Andrew also brought along with him a lovely Visconti Homo Sapiens Lava Skylight and this is as I understand it's still a US exclusive it's like the original Bronze Age and Dark Age and Steel Age versions of the pen but this one actually has a really large ink window that you can see here but also an ink window where the Visconti body ring is just below the cap there and it actually allows you to see the ink which I think is actually a very good move there on the new Viscontis this came with the newer Visconti 18 karat gold medium nibs I brought along a couple of my new acquisitions as well and these were the Pelican M1000 Rardens and this was the starlight and also the sunlight as well and you can just see how well these pens sparkle they really do sparkle really nicely and you can see them here alongside my other Rarden Mackie which is the Sailor King of Pen Sakura Nagar. I was also asked to bring along a number of different pens and I had a few people asking me for my stacked celluloid versions of pens. So here I have the Visconti Divina Metropolitan in the Platinum which is the grey version on the far left. We have the green version as well and then we have the normal size versions which is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Corsani 90, the Visconti Homo Sapiens Octagonal and the Visconti Wall Street. And here you can see the Divina Metropolitan and the Corsani 90 along with my Medici Il Magnifico from Visconti and also the Octagonal and the Wall Street. I really do like the stack celluloid pens, they really do shine in most light. I was also asked to bring with me some of my Opera Masters as well so that they could be looked at. So I brought here the uh, Truffe exclusive which is the Visconti Opera Master Stardust and also the Visconti Opera Master Golden Dust and the Visconti Opera Master Crimson Tide. Jackie brought with her a couple of new acquisitions and these are Namikis. The one on the left here is the Namiki Yuraki and this is the Shooting Star and then the other one is the Milky Way. And these are very nice Mackie pens. Uh, I do like Namiki quite a bit although I really don't have that many Namikis and that may be something that I need to look at longer term. But these are a little bit sort of smaller in size to what I'm normally used to. Jackie also brought with her the Tatcha pens that she has in her collection. And this is the Tatcha Winter's Breath and also the Tatcha Autumn's Brushes. And these are pretty much long sold out pens. They are Mackie, they are Varden as well. And they are really nice looking pens. And you can see here the Winter's Breath has some sort of cracked quails eggs shells sort of dusted around the cap there and it really accentuates it quite a lot. I also got to play with a number of different new pens and this is the Penida La Grande Bellezza in the forged carbon and this is actually quite an interesting pen comes with a mystery filler 
I also was able to get to try the Penida La Grande Bellezza in the Arco and this is a pen that I've looked at a number of times and is a pen that I really would like to get and you can actually see them both side by side and I hadn't actually realized that there was a different size length on both of the pens there it's actually quite a bit of a difference the forged carbon actually has a much longer body than the Arco Gary also brought a couple of pens with him and these are Delta pens which are actually uh, long sold out because Delta closed its doors a number of years ago but we have here the Delta Delta Vita Oro Stantufo and the Delta Dolce Vita Federico Stantufo and I actually have the Federico but not in the Stantufo model so this is the piston version where I have the cartridge converter version. A number of people also asked me to bring some Visconti Davinas. So I brought my Visconti Davina Desert Spring, my Blue Typhoon, the Davina Elegance Green and the Elegance in Brown. I also brought with me my two Medicis that I have. Uh, I actually had three. I had... Uh, the brown one here, which is the Visconti Medici, I had two of those and I sold one uh, about a year ago, I think it was. And I also have the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico, and you can see that one there, which is made of solid silver and a red marble. And in here you can see a few of my other pens I brought along with me, and these are my Pelican M1000s, and these are the New Wardens, the Starlight, the Sunlight, and then a Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog, and also the Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi that quite a few people wanted to have a look at again. And if you saw my video from the UK Southwest Pen Show Hall, you would have seen that I picked up a couple of new pens there, and they were the St. Basil's or St. Basilica's from Visconti. And you can see here on the far left, we have the Visconti Speakeasy, and then the two Basilica's or St. Basil's. One is a fountain pen and one is a rollable pen. And I will be having a review of those very soon. And Jackie tried to topple me over with ink because I have had for quite a while now 299 bottles of ink. And I worked very hard over the Christmas period. And I was able to reduce those to 297 bottles of ink. And then Jackie had the idea that she would buy me three new bottles of ink to allow me to hit the magical number of 300. Now, I'm not too sure how I feel about that because I didn't want to hit 300. I very quickly started going through my ink collection to see how many inks I could actually reduce and uh, seeing if I could merge any ink bottles uh, if one ink bottle was getting low. And I also noticed that I had had mistakenly a couple of ink samples listed, or actually more than a couple, on my full ink bottle database. So I was able to actually knock it down to 291 bottles of ink with these three, which actually made me feel quite happy. But thanks, Jackie, for another bottle of Alt Bordeaux uh, and Blue Mare, because I do like those inks, and also the new Verdura, which I have not tried before. Jackie also brought some other pens with her that you can see here. There's the very small pen is the Mont Blanc Behem, or Behem, and there is the custom pen to the left of that, and you can see the two Namiki pens and the two Tatcha pens. And we decided just towards the end of the pen club meetup that we'd try and get a bit of a photo opportunity on the amount of Varden or Mackier pens. So you can see here a number of pens available. So here you can see we have a Namiki, a Thatcher, Winter's Breath, Autumn's Brushes, and then the two new Namiki from Jackie, my Sailor King of Pens, Sakura Nagar, my Pelican M1000, Varden Starlight, and the Pelican M1000, Varden Sunlight. But these really are quite captivating pens and really do shine in all kinds of light. So we had a really great time. We had a, a very good turnout at the UK 
South Fountain Pen Club. We're looking to have another good turnout next month, hopefully, and we'll see what other new pens people bring. Uh, it will be after the London Pen Show, so I'm hoping that there will be a number of uh, new pens to, to see on show, and I'm hoping it will be a very good club meet-up yet again. So there you have it, that's our UK South Fountain Pen Club meet for February 2020. Thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.